It is such an exciting time to be alive on planet Earth. Today is July 31st, 2012, and the present moment is always changing the past. So conclusive statements, not so fast. So the reason why I am so excited, firstly, my name is Philosophical. I'm here in Los Angeles on the Flow Tree and Gift Circle Tour. But I'm really excited because I've been reading some Charles Eisenstein essays and they just have me so invigorated to share this information and keep this conversation going. Um, basic concept is that depending on how we look at history and look at the past, that can change. Depending on what our frame is for knowing about the past, that de determines how we live in the present moment. And so Charles Eisenstein has these incredible essays. One is called The Three Seeds, and one is called Across the Threshold. And in these essays, it puts a whole new frame on history, and you get this whole different perspective on where we are today in 2012. Um, so one, and, and even beyond Charles Eisenstein's essays, the book Spontaneous Evolution talks about our evolution on the whole planet and how you could see first humanity as uh, sp spread out throughout the whole globe as we traveled from Pangaea if you follow that story and then we um, we but then we went on this journey of separation most cultures where we got very separated from nature and we became to build technology and we did agriculture and that was about 10,000 years ago that we started agriculture and civilization. And then about 300 years ago, we have this whole scientific revolution, which even separates us more from, from kind of the natural flow. And we're really stuck in our minds to a large degree. Um, and that's about 300 years ago. And then 100 years ago, we have this insane, or er, intense industrialism where we build these crazy huge technologies we learn how to fly a hundred years ago and we literally separate ourselves from the land and then in the 1960s we get a whole nother perspective we go into outer space and we're totally separate from our planet that's kind of like the pinnacle of separation you could see and also in the 1960s uh, there's these other bursts of consciousness where people were realizing that we we can't just keep destroying the planet once we got into outer space we saw that this is a fragile planet and we're all interconnected and in this together so that changed our perspective um, and also the uh, the psychedelic and hippie movement started where people were finding all these plant medicines from all over the world and that's been accelerating over the past 50 years, which has ch been changing our consciousness drastically. And then 10 years ago, so we're, we're zooming in here, we got 10,000 years for agriculture, 300 years for scientific revolution, and these are just estimates, and then, uh, or approximations, and then 100 years for intense industrialism, and we're just spiraling in, or we're spiraling upwards towards these different frames of consciousness where we begin to see the past differently. And so in the past 10 or 15 years, the internet has completely revolutionized how we interact with the planet and how we live as a civilization. And you could see, um, you can see the internet as similar to the printing press from back in the, in the scientific revolution where once there was the printing press, people could spread information and solutions much faster. And that's what we're doing today. All these crops referencing of solutions and good ideas are happening at lightning speed. And it's so exciting to be alive right now. And if we just take on this perspective, then it totally changes where we where we see ourselves. Um, another way of looking at this is just on a personal level, where for me, like I've had various injuries and problems throughout my life, 
and if I see them from the lens of oh my god I was such a victim and that part of my life really sucked and I wish I could just uh, replay that part and have a good time you know but if I take on the perspective now of oh those those experiences made me who I am today and they taught me these lessons then it's completely beneficial and I can just get a whole new frame on it so conclusive statements not so fast because the present moment is always changing the past that's how I like to think about it um, and Alan Watts has a great video on this also which I'll post called music and life where he just talks about how depending on how you are in the present moment it puts a whole new spin on the past and um, so I highly recommend these two essays by Charles Eisenstein um, I have two videos where I read them aloud one is with my friend Ananda but I encourage you to read them yourself um, on realitysandwich.com because they've just totally changed my perspective on the past there's all these people today saying like, oh, well, it change didn't happen in the 60s, so it's never going to happen. But there's so much difference now that we have the internet. And another thing, in the 60s, it was like all these young people changing their consciousness, but the older generations were like totally locked into this old way of seeing things. But nowadays we have elders who were around back in the 60s and they've been working on these things for the last 40 years so we have like a whole elder generation that can help us also what's different today than in the 60s is that we've connected with indigenous cultures from all over the world who are sharing this profound wisdom like the 13 grandmothers so there's so much to be excited for today and I just can't believe how amazing these times are that we're living in so please check out the links share whatever information you want to share my last video is the meme revolution evolution please check that out and add your favorite memes so that we can spread these positive ideas and solutions throughout the world and get rid of all this ridiculous crappiness that is just in dominant society so thank you for watching please check out the links have a beautiful day happy tuesday la da 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 da